So hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. Stop that bloody bright light. Look, he will put it on now. Just watch. Oh, he does a bloody rubbish thing. I mean, maybe my my lights are too high, you know. But I need it. I see nothing. Bloody dark. So yeah, welcome back to the channeling channeling. What I want to say in this video is to talk about the trucking. Trucking, what trucking is? Uh, what does the truck, uh, the trucking involves? You know, and all this sort of stuff. Because there are things that nobody tells you about that is really important to know. Such as what the trucker does after he finishes his job as a tramper. Because as a tramper, you know, doing national wars, that means national wars or whatever. Basically, being away from home for five days a week or some situations, some of the truckers, they do an international job, so they are really away. I really recommend a really good... Uh, I watched some of his videos and I really like it. It's DC European. DC European is on YouTube. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, if you want to see some uh, some work, you know, some Europe work. He's doing Europe work. He has his own truck or trucks. I don't know if he has two or just one now, but but he has his own truck, his own business. He's doing the the the, the deal. So. Yeah, just check him out. This European is really, really good. I really like his videos. You know, really a lot to learn. A lot to learn is... Oh, you bloody idiot. Look how fast they are coming, man. To smorzi mati se va futashi, man. So, yeah. About the European job. Here, as a... UK driver, I can tell you my experience in the UK as a truck driver. So, in the UK, it sucks. Sucks why it sucks, and I tell you what sucks. I will start with parking spaces. Yeah? It's not enough that UK lacks of parking spaces. There are barely parking spaces available for HV drivers to park overnight or over the day, in my case, as a night driver, because I drive in the night and sleep in the daytime. But I am lucky. I am in a way lucky because, of course, not a lot of trucks are working through the day, uh, through the night, sorry. And I have, I have a lot of parking spaces available through the day. Depends what time I'm finishing in the morning. But let's talk in general UK really sucks because it doesn't have too much parking spaces anyway and not just that right it's not enough that here we don't have enough parking spaces available for trucks to park down overnight there are lots of laybys, lots of laybys, lots of parking spaces where we could park overnight or over the day whatever but we are not allowed to because they put a bloody sign saying that seven and a half ton restriction. Futus Morti Mati with seven and a half ton restriction. This is why I was fined 185 quid down towards Kent because I was right on my top of my hours. I couldn't I couldn't just go further and that was it. The services they were packed because this is why I said lack of parking spaces and then I just decided to park where it was illegal and I've got fined at least I didn't obstruct traffic or whatever but I was parked illegally anyway and that's the thing that's the thing you see uh, and not just that that it lacks of parking spaces this is what what I want to say not just this is the problem the problem is a lot of thieves man ask any truck driver who was doing Europe where are, oh man where are the most thieves what the f 
so bumpy this road, I swear. So bumpy. And I don't have a heavy load. It's really light load, you know, lightweight. Uh, ask any truck driver, where are the most thieves in, in, in the whole Europe and stuff? United King. I don't know why. I swear I don't know why. Here, you come in with the truck, they steal your diesel, they steal your diesel, they steal your, your load, they steal everything. And I don't want to be to sound racist or stuff like this, you know, to go racial and stuff like this, but but I need to say one thing. I don't I don't think I do not think one thing I will say here, right? I will mention here. I do not think there are British people who are doing this. I just I just don't think so. You know the British nationality. People I don't think so. I really doubt that that there are British people who are doing this to steal load, to steal go steal the diesel and, and, and crap. I mentioned this, I don't really want to go into stuff because I will sound really ridiculous or very racial and then I will just uh, bring uh, onto myself so much hate and I don't want that. Not that I care about it, don't give a shit. But, you know, you need to be careful what are you saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, so no parking spaces, not too much parking spaces and a lot of... Uh, as I said, you know, thieves. You are not safe anywhere. And that's why, like, now, myself, I need to go down, deep this load, and then I need to find, I need to park down at my depot, because they are not allowing us to go as far as we can, whatever our destination is, or whatever our next destination is, because, because of thieves, you know, there are a lot of thieves, and they don't allow us to go to park down laybys, you know, as far as we can, whatever we can park, even services. Because we might have our curtain cut, we might have our load stolen and diesel and everything. Yes, that's one thing, you know, lack of parking spaces and thieves. Another thing is hygiene. Hygiene, I, I don't get me wrong, I really love UK because you don't need to pay for so some services you need to pay for for the shower but they are just this uh, a on on the a roads if you go to the services you need to pay for the shower you may need to pay for the shower not in every case but you may do you may do need to pay for the shower but in most of the cases not. But on the motorway, everything is for free. But the thing is, I, I like UK because, as I said, you don't need to pay for shower. You know, they are very kind. The, the British people are kind. This is what I said as European. I don't say this because to this video, because, you know, a lot just more, mostly British people are watching my videos. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's talking nice about British people. No, I honestly don't know me if you if you know me you know i don't give a shit about any racial about i don't give a crap about anything i just say the truth uh the british people are really kind and i said in the traffic as well yeah there are lots of idiots idiots are everywhere you know in the traffic even myself i'm an idiot sometimes who is this a bicycle or was that who is a bicycle man it's going to work on the in this weather <laughs> Like I said, you know, idiots are on the road. Idiots are a lot, a lot of idiots on the road and stuff. But, but in general, British people are very kind, and this is why I like UK. Everywhere you go, you know, they they greet you. How's going? And it's alright. You know, it's when I. This is why when I first came here, I was like, oh, wait, this is another world, you know, because I was used to that straight face uh, attitude and straight face collaboration to be uh, to say it straight because in the countries that I was working at you know you you done your job and you don't it's 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 a different world 
it's a different world to be honest it's a very different world here it's a different world over in another countries it's a different world as well so hygiene nah, I was talking now a lot and not saying the right stuff so about hygiene a lot of people they, they don't tell you you know they don't they don't see on the YouTube in the YouTube or somewhere or in these TV shows like they don't tell you about hygiene like you go out as a trucker you need to sleep in the truck yeah but where do you shower you use wet wipes I don't believe you will use wet wipes for a week because it will stink as hell so you need to shower somewhere so for that thing to shower you need to use public showers as I said in services a roads and services and so on they do have every services normally they do have showers or depots or companies where you go to deliver to even some Amazon uh, warehouses they do have showers for the truck drivers so you need to always don't forget to take with you flip-flops slippers you know flip-flops for shower because you don't want to catch anything you go after thousands thousands of truckers and not not that the truckers are dirty don't get me wrong the thing is some of the showers are not clean properly uh, believe me or not I, I even found in showers uh, mushrooms and that wasn't even in the service in the service you find mold all the time and stuff like this not all the time sorry but most of the cases most of the time you find mold you know and it's not clean properly so so yeah as I said you know hygiene it's not the best so this is why I need to bring with uh, need to bring with you you know flip-flop slippers and everything because you will need that you will really need that to go in a shower so you don't catch any any mushrooms on your feet because I believe you don't deserve that as a human being to have mushrooms after somebody doesn't clean the bloody shower properly and doesn't doesn't how, how do you say it disinfect the shower properly I'm in Hereford right now I don't know I like I like this town honestly Hereford So that's that's about hygiene. You go after you know you you uh, as as a as a as a male. I don't see it that a big issue. But imagine a woman. A woman has periods. A woman has a woman can't just undo her say you know her trousers and and then pee because she needs she needs more privacy to be able to to we you know we man jump on the tire and that's it but the woman she can't can she so she needs more pri oh my gosh honestly i hats you know had a hat down for the woman because they do that but if I would be a woman, I don't know if I would do this job. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. There are so many jobs in this world that I don't know. Maybe, maybe they have passions. Not buddy bicycle. Oh, he was signaling. Good, good lad, good lad. He was on a bicycle and he was signaling. You know, he was showing me that I'm going that way. Good lad. But I couldn't see him because, of course, it's dark. I saw him very late but then anyway. yeah if i would be a woman i don't think i would do it and i don't know i need to ask a woman right because i i never saw a woman in a shower but i believe in the services i i never i need to ask in the services do women use a different shower like like in every service uh, they have two showers one for men one for one section for women or or because i i don't know do you imagine if they do not have one and the woman needs to go inside the shower where we are men's you know where the men's are 
and imagine some of the showers are, are in uh, how can I say it are in I say it rightly I mean are in common because they are not separate Do you know what I mean they are not separate like they don't have separate sections you go in you see the naked man it's like in the body military yeah really especially frankly services on the M M5 southbound I don't know the northbound because northbound I didn't try it but but southbound it's it's terrible like you go in you literally open the door and you hit the other one in the back if he's there changing you know it's, it's, it's really really terrible like frankly service is the most terrible service to go to have a shower at that one the other one which is the other one there are some, there are some services out there that's uh, just unbelievable but one worth wait I need to use this where the f Oh, wait a second, man. 49 South, yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm used to coming from the other side. I'm used to coming, I, I will show you now. From that way. Facade, belly, boss, mate. He's on the bloody bicycle, but he doesn't have a bloody light on the front, so I don't see him. So, yeah, I, used to, I was used to come from that way when the A49 was shot, so I was always used to using the inside them. Look how they have it's snowing so heavily. So that's it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the hygiene. The hygiene is not the best. Another thing is, uh, and I was talking to one of my colleagues, I mean, he, he told me that he's watching my videos and stuff, and he said that, let's talk now about money. Right now, now I want to mention about money. How much do we earn and stuff like this? So he was telling me, "Hey, mate, you know, I saw a video of yours. I don't know how many months ago you were talking about money, and you were saying, oh, we truck drivers, we earn a lot.'" And I said, "Yeah, we do earn a lot." And he said to me, "Okay, I agree with you. We earn a lot, but how do we earn a lot? How can we earn a lot? Like you didn't say that in your video. Like how many hours do you work?" How much sacrifices are you doing and stuff like that? Look at this idiot, look, without light on. No, no, say something. Uh, and I was like, dude, you're right. Like, after after I thought, man, he's all right. Like, I mean, I mean, he is right. He is right. Like, honestly, we do a lot of sacrifices. We work our butt off for literally nothing. For literally nothing if you compare uh, an eight hour job and you have more freedom and if you compare how much you work as age of driver you are like you work for uh, biscuit money you know what I mean because literally that's it you work for biscuit money so how much can you earn as an age driver let me tell you me as a tramper I'm earning between between eight and nine hundred pound a week. That's a week. That's for five days. Between eight, eight hundred and nine hundred pounds. Is that enough for me? Yes, it is. I mean, I don't know. It's it's enough. I, you know, it's enough for me. Uh, the area where I live, that's that's the thing because I live in Wales. So the area where I live. The rents and all this kind of stuff are not as expensive as you would uh, live in London, as an example. This is why if you go in London, you earn a lot, you earn a lot more, but how much it's a rent? £2,000, £3,000, now you see. The area where I live, the rents are between 500 and 800 or whatever, but it depends what do you rent house at. Or maybe you have your own house and you don't need to pay rent, that's no... That's much better. You don't need to pay mortgage. Then you are, you are really, really good. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you need to pay rent, and you need to, pay, like myself, you know, I have young family, you know, everything. I'm the only one who's working, so you know, you need to, you need to be careful. 
on everything. You need to be careful how much you earn and stuff. So, yeah. So, as an HV driver, you would earn between, if you're tramping five days a week, you would earn between 800 minimum, 800 and 1200 a week. So, that's the range between 800 and 1200 a week. If you earn more than that, that means you are with agency. But if you are with the agency, because as an agency driver, I, I was talking to quite a lot of agency drivers, they do earn a lot more than myself. But the problem with, AG, uh, with the agency is that you don't get sick pay, you don't get holiday pay and nothing. You just, basically the holiday pay, it's in your wage. Uh, so as far as I know, you know, about the agency drivers, they told me. So, I don't know if it's good that for you, but for myself, I, it's not because with an agency you don't you don't have a secure job. Maybe today they will call you come in, but maybe tomorrow you don't come in. Or as a tramper, maybe you go tramp for a week and the next week stay home. You know you lose a lot, so you need to put all these things in balance. That's why I don't choose to go as an agency driver. I would go as an agency driver if. If I would be financially independent and I don't depend on, on my workplace to pay my bills, that's it. Then, uh, then, yeah, I would go with agency because why not? If I want to work, I work. If I don't want to work, I don't work. But uh, with the contract, you can't say that. That, ah, oh, I'm not going tomorrow in because uh, I need to scratch my balls and I don't reach them. So. I need a day off to, to reach my balls. You know what I'm saying? So you can't do that. But yeah, I would go as an agency drive them. But everything, everybody has, of course, like everybody has its own uh, decision. Like I, I have lots of truckers who are, you know, doing agency work all the time and they are really happy with it. Like, you know, but sometimes, you know, those. Uh, not those truckers, but some, some truckers are saying that it's good with agency because you get more, but sometimes you don't have work, especially in January and February. You know, a lot of truck drivers, they will complain about work with agency because, you know, it was lack of work in January and February. And now it's catching up, you know, now it's really catching up. Let's see, can I overtake this one now? It's in the bloody curve. Can I watch this from Gregory? Fucking hell, park, keep your lane. Hold your lane, dude. So, yeah. In my opinion, I don't know. With the contract, you earn more or less, way more or less. Com what the hell? I don't see the road. Did you see the road? Uh, yeah, with, you know, with the contract you earn more or less, but the thing is, you, you know, you have a secure job. So yeah, about trucking, like what do you eat? Where do you eat? I used to, I used to bring with me, and I think I'll go back to bring ready meals and just pop them in the microwave and happy days, you have the ready meals. But the thing is, with the ready meals, are. Uh, they are more expensive, one. They are way more expensive. But if I put in balance, that depends what do you like to eat, like yourself. What do you like to eat? Do you like to keep a certain diet? Do you like to go junk food and stuff like this? But I would suggest, you know, avoid junk food as much as you can. I do eat junk food myself, but I avoid them as much as I can. So. I will do a cooking video, like well, what do I bring in a week with me, and stuff like this. About ready meals, I can't do like a video about the ready meals, like what do I bring because, you know, bread, uh, yeah. ready meals are ready meals. But I will, uh, I will do a video about what do I bring in work as a HV driver and I will do like a shopping list and stuff like that I'll go, hey, I will do this yeah I think I find it I find it very interesting doing that you know like 
that that video about what do I bring in work and stuff. So, but that's a thing you see. Like at home, you have your comfort zone. You have your kitchen. In the truck, what's your kitchen? The trailer. <laughs> Some truckers, which I don't find it really good, is that they are cooking in their cab. You know, they have the stove and everything, and they cook in the cab. The problem with that is what the fun problem. Everybody, everybody does what he wants. I don't care about any other driver. I don't blame, not, not at all, like, honestly. I respect every driver as much as they respect me. But I don't, I don't see a good thing like cooking in the cab. The thing is, you sleep in this cab. You have your clothes here. You, you know, you drive, you sleep. You, spend the, the whole week you spend in this cab and the, the thing is when you cook in the cab the smell of the cooking whatever you cook it will stain on everything and it doesn't matter how much air freshener you have in the cab and how much you air the cab that food smell will stain on everything and then imagine that you sleep you wake up in that bloody smell huh? so I don't I don't this is why I don't cook in the cab. Even when I was doing Europe and I, uh, I've had my van, of course, and the van was much easier because you always had the space in the back to go to cook. You know, you just went in the back, you know, in the in the van, and you had your space, you know, to cook. And of course, your bed was protected because, of course, you had protections over so. It didn't stay inside the bed, you know, inside the cab. But in the truck, in the cab, I wouldn't cook. I saw, I saw a lot of truck drivers. They cook in the. Tr I don't know. I just don't see a good, good thing to cook in the cab. I don't know. That's my opinion. So, I will do a video about the cooking stuff. You know what do you cook? A lot of truck drivers they don't tell you about about uh, the sleeping okay you finish your job where do you sleep at the depot a lot of companies like our company as well uh, go park down at the depot you go park at the depot and through the day it's so busy and the, the other truckers you know they are just on days they do so much noise and they bang their doors and everything you just wake up broken sleep especially when you have a toddler at home like I was on nights I went home but through the day how much I could sleep because you know I have toddler I have kids you know they shout like crazy no what can you sleep this is why I choose trumpet as a trumper you go in the parking lot bloody noisy and now you will tell me oh why don't why don't sleep through the day uh, through the night because I'm doing nights. Oh, but why do you not go in on the days? Because I do nights. That's why. Do you know what I'm saying? The night driver, not, uh, driving on nights, my opinion, it's much harder than driving on the days. But anyway, uh, about yeah, about sleeping. That's it. You sleep through the day. You need to decide. Can you sleep through the day? Do you have a problem sleeping through the day? In the daytime, you pull your curtains, the blackout curtains, but it's a bit noisier than in the nighttime. Not a bit, because it's more noisy than in the nighttime. In the nighttime, it's not noisy, as noisy. Sometimes it can be, but but it's you know it's all right. Facade. Man. really slippery like so yeah about the sleeping as I said yeah when you are parked down imagine you are parked down somewhere and lay by you, you don't have access to the toilet you need to shit where do you go to shit next to a truck pull off your trousers paper wipe it down and that's it huh? <laughs> now imagine now here again woman Big respect, yeah? Big respect. Uh, this is why I said if I would be woman, I don't think I would I would do it because of that. And they are tough chicks, you know. <laughs> now they will swear at me. Why call me chick, you bastard? I don't know. 
Hey, because I'm used to watching these videos and I hear everybody saying about the woman chicks and stuff. I don't know why they say chicks. But anyway, they are tough. Tough. They are really tough women. To do this trucking, especially Trumpers, you know, the Trumper women. They are tough. You don't, don't, you don't fuck with them because they will beat you up. So, oh, I need to turn here right. Yeah, towards Monmouth. I mean, I can go towards Rosenwey as well, but I don't really want to. Well, I don't really want to, but it's much shorter if I choose this way. It's much narrower if, instead of, you know, just keep going towards Rosenwey. But, yeah. <sighs> okay, you see me yawning in the night time. What this means? You are sleepy. You are sleepy, you are tired while driving, boss man. Fossa belly. They see me coming, so they should bloody slow down. Uh, in the night time you get more sleepier. You know, you get more sleepier and all this kind of stuff, so it's more likely you to fall asleep at the steering wheel. Now, I didn't show you because I said oh, I won't record anything, but before recording, before recording, I stopped to have my 45 minutes break, and what have I done in my 45 minutes break? I slept. I didn't need to take a 45 minutes break because I would have reached my destination slightly in time. But, but the thing is, I felt I felt tired, and I said, you know, I felt tired, look, you see the snow, it's snowing, it's dark, you're concentrated on the road, you are double concentrated because it's snowing and stuff, so... Oh, man, it's... I don't know if you can see on the road, but it's this... Because, because of the trucks, I believe, because of the weight of the, the, the vehicle, it makes a dip in the in the in the road, and it just wobbles you all the all the way. So in this case, our truck is coming from the from the opposite direction. Or truck, look, it just look, it just ah man, I hate it. Look, it sends me towards the hedge. We need to hold the steering wheel tight. Do you know what I mean? Is that? It's, I don't know. Is that path on the road like it just wobbles you all the way and that's why when something is coming next to all that steering wheel tight because you may hit him so what did i say yeah about the sleepiness i feel tired dude i stop in a lay-by i stop whatever i can i stop in a safe place 45 minutes break or 30 minutes break or minimum 20 minutes break i put my i put first of all i stop I put 10 alarms on, that takes me a minute to set the alarms on, make sure I put on my phone and the tablet, takes me around one minute or two minutes to set them on, to be sure I won't fall asleep, you know, I won't oversleep, and then I just sleep, I just literally sleep, I sleep, because this is a dangerous job. To be tired at the, you know at the wheel, and this is why I don't choose that. I just choose if I if I feel sleepy. Don't worry, I stop now, boss man. This blinds me honestly. Ah, the truck. So it's yeah. Just even if you're going, if you're if you're running late, I don't care. I mean, I never run late. I never run late, I mean, I made sure you know, I never run around late, but let's put it this way, if I run late and I need to stop, I don't care, I stop. And they ask me, why did you stop? I stopped because I didn't feel that I can drive anymore. I can, I feel I, I can't drive further. And instead of doing any accident, I'm killing myself. I leave my family behind and kill someone else, me. Then I just stopped had a rest, like now I had, you know, before me videoing, 
I had 45 minutes nicely. You know, sleeping like for 40 minutes, we put it this way. I'm fresh. I can go. I drive. I'm more concentrated on the road. You know, I don't feel sleepy. That I own, that's it. You know, you own. <laughs> I'm fast, I'm not bad at all. Ah, this lost the salt. Yeah. So, yeah, I sleep. I don't know. I don't care, you know what I mean? Look, now it's a lot of snow on the road as well. Hicks. Hicks, they do have nice lorries. Really nice lorries, customized. No, it is special lights, with additional lights and stuff. Man, I wish you would experience this trucking on this type of road. It's so ridiculous. It's so... Uh, it's enough when it's dry and then with high visibility than, than now. Dark. But now it's getting a bit, you know, it's, it's not as dark as it was. Because it's, uh, it's 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock will be daylight. But yeah, it's not as easy. So that's it, you know, you feel sleepy, stop. Stop in a safe place and have a rest. Don't worry if the planner will call you and, and they, they will ask you like, what's going on? Oh, I always clench when trucks are passing next to me, like, don't hit my mirror. Oh, there were many occasions, nearly, nearly, nearly. It was so close. Especially in this type of road, it's so narrow, your lane is so narrow, it's literally the, the width of a truck. It's the width of a truck, you go left, right a bit, you end up in the hedge or you end up in hitting the truck. So you need to hold really tight on the steering wheel, especially when trucks are parking, but, uh, are passing by. So, yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of things you know, about the trucking, right? Like nobody, you know, really tells you. Companies won't tell you this, no. <laughs> TV shows, no. When you start to say something in the TV shows, I was filming at the BBC, right? I don't know why they didn't put me in. Not that I have something, I, mean, I don't care, but maybe they will do a second series, maybe they are doing anyway. In the trucking shows, like, like in this type of shows, even at these tow bars, I saw a lot of stuff. They don't want you to, or, or they want you to, to say some, some really shit stuff, like, you know, to do good TV. Or they don't want you to, to show the real deal. Do you know what I mean? Like, show the real deal to people. Like, what, what's the song about? Everything is about television and everything is about, like, showing everything is nice and at the back. It's nothing nice about trucking itself. You know, about trucking, so I don't, uh, I don't speak about companies. Yeah, companies are not nice. Yeah, companies are nice. Concerny, for example, I can't say anything bad about Owens. Honestly, here, you know, here, you every Friday you have the money in your account. Never, ever, ever happened to me that I had problems with the money. Never happened to me that I had no money in the account. Every Friday morning at one or two o'clock in the morning, money in the account. Happy days, how I DJ Michael with money. Michael happy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, honestly. I mean, this is why I st stuck with Owens. No, I stick with Owens because they are good. The bosses are good. I mean, with the boss, you don't really meet the boss, as I said, in my opinion. Me as a HV driver. The, wow, that's really nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hicks. <laughs> Honestly, I love the lorries, man. Have you seen it? I don't know if you have seen it, but freaking out, dude. That was really nice. I mean, I would work for them. Shall I go to work for Hicks? No? Shall I ask them if they have some tramping jobs? I just said I won't leave always. <laughs> But they do have nice lorries, bloody hell. Uh, I really love when I see them, honestly. I really, I really enjoy the lorries, honestly. Honestly. Leave me a 
comment down below if you work for Hicks. Let me know. Maybe we'll catch up. <laughs> no, I honestly, I'm really, really satisfied with Owens. Really satisfied. They're really good. Really, really good. And now I want to say about companies. So, before becoming a HV driver, my thought was, oh, I'll just go to any company that takes me on. Let me tell you something, and you go fucking out. No, go a bit faster, boss, man. You won't, don't worry. You won't pass out. So, before becoming an HV driver, I was like, oh, no, I don't care. I'll just, stick, I'll just go with any other, with any company that, that takes me on. But well, that's a really not a good thing to do. Let's put it this way, you are a newly qualified. You are a newly qualified to want to look for a job. Trust me, before becoming qualified as an HGV driver, pardon me, look for jobs. Look for jobs before becoming a HGV driver, before having the license. Look for jobs, like whatever and ask drivers, ask other drivers. There are also like Facebook and yeah, Facebook mainly. These groups, HV, Wales, HV, England, all, all these groups on Facebook. Just go on those groups and ask them, like, what do you think? Look, I'm a, I will be newly qualified. What companies do you think are the best? And take bits and things, you know, like have, have their opinion, you know, hear their opinion give other drivers opinion, ask maybe you have a driver as a friend, ask him. But never go to any just any company to work for. Because you will spend to go from this company work for this company a week, you go two weeks for the other company, you go a month to another company and just so on so on so on so on. Which is so decision but I don't say good thing that as well. Did I want to quit Owens at the beginning? Yes, I did. I wanted to go to another company which was closer than, than me. As I said, oh, I will go to that company because it's closer to me and I, I was just, uh, I, I was a beginner as well and then I was having that issue with the parking and then they, I got fined. And I really hate when somebody's playing with my money. In this case, the parking man, you know, the, the council, they fined me for that. There was a lot of things, you know, that I was just like, I'm sick of it, I'm sick of tramping. And I left tramping for nights and, you know, I I didn't leave always, of course, but, but I was thinking to leave. So I had that thought, I leave, but after I was like, no, I don't, because they are good to me. I'm very satisfied with the company, I'm very satisfied with the work, with the truck and everything. So that's why I didn't. They didn't give me a proper reason. The company didn't give me a reason to leave, you know what I'm saying, that's the, that's the thing. So that, that, that's the thing, you know. So yeah, as I said, you know, what decision, what do you want to do? <sighs> Your decision, what do you want to do? But my opinion is, my advice is, stick with one company as much as you can. You know, you'll gain so much experience. You'll get used to it. You'll make yourself your comfort zone. Now, always, for me, it's my comfort zone. I know the planners, bosses. I mean, as I said, bosses, I consider they are my planners. I respect them. They respect me. I respect their decision. They respect my decision and so on. If you are good with the planners, you'll have a happy day. If you are shit with your planner, you'll have a hell of a day. <laughs> You know, you always need to respect the people. I always say that respect the people as much as you want them to respect you. And this is this is how I am. I respect everyone as much as they respect me. If nobody, if somebody doesn't respect me, I give them back the same respect as I receive. And everybody's happy. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's, that's a good thing to look at it, you know what I mean? So yeah, there are a lot of things, you know, about trucking that nobody tells you. But if you have any look at another, it's an Owens one? No, it's not. MC Gregor. Gregor. So yeah, 
don't know, there are a lot of stuff, you know, about trucking. But if you have any inquiries, I would say just 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 drop me a comment down below and I will talk to you through everything. Like if you want to you want to know something as an example in depth about money, hourly pays and stuff, leave me a comment down below. Luke Owens. Still work. Tarapa. Oh shit, 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 Another Owens. Yeah, it is. Hey, Pop. The headlight doesn't work. One of the lights. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, like, tracking stuff. You want to know something? Drop a comment down below. And we'll discuss about it. That's like this overtaking. Who are you for? Bound land. What the hell is that? Oh, some grocery thing, huh? So yeah, if you have any inquiries, drop down below, drop, drop a comment down below, and we speak in the comments, and then I'll do a video about stuff. Don't be shy, just ask anything. And catch up next time with the bloody tunnel. Listen to that. Oh, see you next time.